the scanning technique for the stomach in lateral recumbent canine patients. Before the procedure, it is strongly recommended that the patient be fasted for 12 hours. Place the patient in right lateral recumbency with their feet directed towards the sonographer. This position will allow one other person to have control over the patient's front and hind limbs. Please note that due to the orientation of the stomach, transverse images of the stomach are obtained by placing the transducer in the patient's long axis. The opposite is also true. If the transducer is placed in the patient's short axis, long axis images will be acquired. To acquire transverse images of the fundus and body of the stomach, place the transducer in the patient's long axis in the dorsal aspect of the left abdomen. To cover the entire fundus and stomach body, slide the transducer from dorsal to ventral using the appropriate depth. To obtain long axis images of the fundus, body, and pylorus, rotate the transducer 90 degrees to the patient's short axis. In this orientation, it will be possible to visualize the pyloric duodenal junction, granted the patient has fasted sufficiently. The pyloric duodenal junction is near the hilum of the liver, adjacent to the neck of the gallbladder. Return dorsally and use the high frequency transducer to measure the interrugal distance. The interrugal distance is the space between the rugae. This measurement should be about 8 millimeters or less in an average dog. When using high frequency transducers, evaluate the layers of the gastric roll, which includes the lumen, mucosa, submucosa, muscularis, and serosa.